Hallelujah. If you are blessed this morning, once again, we'll say Amen. And if you are with God, praise God. Well, we praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning because God is in our worship service. Anyone who come to Him, God say, I never let them go without anything. But someone will touch God Someone who touched by God also, and someone who received the word of God, that message will transform in your life, and someone will gain courage, and someone will be blessed. That's why, dear brother and sister, let us have a spiritual expectation for this worship service, for the glory of Christ. Well, this morning, I would like to uh, challenge something to all Christian believers for your journey from the beginning of your life until you enter the kingdom of God. Let us know it how God bless and what is his promise to the churches. Open our Bible according to James chapter 1 verse 12. The word of God say the James chapter 1 verse 12 the word of God say let us open and we will read together. Ready? Go. Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial, because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. If you carefully read it, who are the blessed one? Is said here. Men who persevere under trials. It means Every believer has trials. But if you overcome it, he said, you are blessed one, he said. And also he said, what is the purpose of that trial? He said, after trials, and we do the test, he said. If we use to the test, according to the Bible said, there is a promise of God. And also, you may receive the crowd of light and that promise for those who love him according to word of God say dear brother and sister let us know that why God give us trials according to James chapter 1 verse 2 the word of God say consider it pure joy my brothers Whenever you face trial of many kind, it is not just one, but there are many kind of trial in our journey. And is a real, is a real, these trials, dear brother and sister, it is not a usual trial for anyone. But this trial, according to Greek meaning, pay rasmos, it means, Intentionally, God gave this trial to the Christian who loves Jesus Christ. What I mean, if you have a trial, it means, brother and sister, you are loved by the Lord Jesus Christ. That is intentional trial given by Christ. That trial, dear brother and sisters, why he gave this trial to Christian members? Because he loves us. You know, even God loves you, he cannot use you if you have something in your heart. Or if you are not yet mature Christian, it is not easy to use for the kingdom purpose. That's why through this trial, God give you training and through training, Christian become mature. When you become mature, God can use us. Therefore, dear brother and sister, according to James chapter 1, verse 3, the word of God said, because you know that the testing of faith develop perseverance. We have trial because of, because God loves us. We have testing of faith for our perseverance. Well, this testing of faith, according to Greek meaning, say, this is the Dokimion, it means after test of faith, 
God wanted to recognize us. It's, it means we are overcome or pass from the such kind of testing of faith. After you have trial and testing in our verse said, Blessed is the man who persevere under trial is in. Dear brother and sister, what is purpose of trial? What is testing of faith? Because of the perseverance under trial, according to James said. And also, what is purpose of that perseverance under trial? And he said here, because after perseverance, dear brother and sister, there will be recognition of God. God will acknowledge you. That's why he said he has to the test. After you are test, dear brother and sister, there is crown of life that God has promised. And also, this crown say those who love Jesus Christ. Dear brother and sisters, let us first understand trials. Number two is the testing of faith. Number three is the who persevere under trials. Number four is a dear, he has stood the test. And number five, there is a promise. That promise is the crown of the life. And also this crown for those who love by God. Those who love by God, it means you can relate it with in the book of Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 and 20. But dear brothers and sisters, to obey his commandment and commissions, it is impossible without love Jesus Christ. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, this morning, let me just simply explain to you such kind of principle of victorious Christian living with the process in the Bible. Is it? Number one, Every Christian brother and sister, if you love by God, remember you have test which is hardship. The purpose of test is to see myself as blessed heart. When you have such kind of testing of faith, that testing of faith, dear brother and sister, to see ourselves. When you see yourself, why is this kind of happening to me? Why I could not walk on the way of way of straight way of life? When you see, brother and sister, this kind of heart is those who have blessed one, according to the Bible said, James chapter one, verse one to three. And after testing of hardship, when you searching your heart, what's wrong? What's problem? What do you need? Surely, brother and sister, through the test, we became humble ourselves. When we humble ourselves, we begin to confess all dirty in our heart. There are so many kinds of dirty in our heart. According to the Bible said, it is the bitter root, is it? Bitter root, it was continually rooted and grew up. It was hiding in our life. But suddenly, someday, it appeared to our, our faith in our life. When it was appeared, sometimes I was shocked. I thought I worship God alone. I thought Holy Spirit is only in my heart. But someday, that kind of bitterness suddenly arise and express it in my tongues, with my thought and body. But if you have testing hardship, you may see yourself and through the testing we become humble ourselves and we begin to confess to the Lord. Matthew chapter 5 verse 3 said, Blessed are the poor in spirit for there is the kingdom of heaven. Poor in spirit. It means even I attending church, even I reading Bible, worship God and I attending church for how long? But still, why there is no love of God in me? Why there is no joy of God in me? 
get is a full protocols in Yuma is it? When you mourn, when you humble yourself, dear brothers and sisters, you may go next step of the principle of victorious Christian living. You begin to mourn. You begin to mourn. When I confess all my sin to the Lord, we begin to mourn. We cry out to the Lord. When we cry out to the Lord, dear brothers and sisters, that time they will be, they will be open the door of sensitive, sensitiveness and intellect. When the door of the sensitiveness and intellect open, dear brother and sister, what will be happen? Hmm? What will be happen? There, there is a beautiful moment will come. According to the Bible said, Matthew chapter 5 verse 4, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforters. When you begin to open the door of sensitiveness and intellect through the mourn, you may, you may have brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit will comfort you. Holy Spirit who work in you, when He work in you, brothers and sisters, what will be happen with you? You really communicate with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, please bless my heart. Holy Spirit, please bless my heart to remove all kind of bitter root. When you have a communication with the Holy Spirit, dear brother and sister, what will be happen? The work of Parakletos with the fire, rain, and dove will come. It is very important to have communicate with the Holy Spirit, which is the we call Yuma. But when you keep communicate with the Lord, it is a way how you invite Parakletos, which is the power of Holy Spirit. When the power of Holy Spirit come on you, according to the Bible said, He will come with the fires. That fire will burn in our heart. He will come with rain that rain will wash our heart and he will come as dove and give us pure heart do you know why why we are not we don't have pure heart because there is a bitter root but when it was burned by the fire of holy spirit when it was washing by the rain of god and it became pure like a dove Dear brother and sister, that's why John chapter 14, verse 16 said, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever. That is brother and sister, Holy Spirit, which is Numa and Parakletos. Parakletos. When it was already born and pure heart, pure heart. Number five, you can see God. No one can see God if we have bitter root in us. If our heart is not pure and not clean by the blood of Christ, no one can see. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. They will see God. Number six, when you see God, your spiritual eyes will open. If your spiritual eyes open, begin to that time you may see what faith is. Faith is being sure what we hope for and certain what we do not see. Even you said faith is being sure. Faith is being sure what we hope. You just have hope but already since your spiritual eyes open, you know how to draw for your futures. It became drawing in your imaginations, in your thought and mind. But if your eyes could not open, there's no faith. If there's no faith, dear brothers and sisters, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What will be happen after finish our journey in the world? After final judgment, when we enter kingdom of God, no one knows it. I think last several weeks, 
I have been sharing with you what is faith. Faith for salvation. Praise the Lord. Faith to overcome difficulties. Faith to experience a miracle of Jesus Christ. Faith for the victorious of life. But what is really major faith for you and for me today? It is not only for salvation and for the experience and overcome difficulties, but faith is to see the kingdom of God. The reason why we are here to worship God, not because of our salvations. Possibly someone said, because I need to overcome. I want to overcome such things. But my preaching today, brother and sister, we should open our eyes to see the kingdom of God. What will be my life after we finish our journey? That's why this morning, James mentioned about the crown of life. If you have faith to see the kingdom of God, from the time there is a perseverance. That is what James said. It means, brother and sister, if you want to have promise of God and crown of life, your spiritual level must be go to the perseverance. From the test, humble, mourn, Holy Spirit, pure in heart, open spiritual ear and faith. When you have faith, you may have perseverance according to word of God said. If you have perseverance, this is for the blessed heart. Blessed heart. Once again, James chapter 1 verse 12 said here, Blessed is the man who perseveres under trials because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. What could the Bible say? So if you are perseverance, dear brother and sister, in any kind of trials, any kind of difficulties in your journey today, journey today, according to John Bonyan said, dear brother and sister, in pilgrimage of our life, since we are born until we dead, after we dead, we know that every Christian will go to eternal kingdom of God. And he said here, there are many kind of people who finish the journey. Some people said, they just walk. Don't mind about them. And someone, someone said, they run like 100 meters, learners. When they, they run with their best, but they take rest. They do nothing. And someone, 500 meter runners, they slow to run, but keep run. But after 500 meters, they are just rest. But John Bonyan said, dear brothers and sisters, our race is not 100 meters, 500 meters, but our journey is marathon, is it marathon? There is a beginning and there is last goal and finish our race according to it. That's why if you have perseverance and number nine, you may have Hope to stand in any kind of situations. In your journey for the, in your journey, in your journey, brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter what kind of environment. And someone who run with the winter seasons. And there is zigzag road, there is a mountain, rocky, and also rough way. There are so many hindrances will come, but if we have hope, Dear brother and sister, it doesn't matter what kind of environment and problem with our journey today. That's therefore, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13 said, Now, those three remain faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. If you have hope, next, you may have wisdom from God. Wisdom. What is wisdom? Wisdom to see God better. It means you can see what is your goal. After finish your life journey, brother and sister, what will be? What is reward? What is my life there? Therefore, brother and sister, according to last, you may have last agape love. You can give your life 
You can give your life for the journey. Your journey for the glory of Jesus Christ. Therefore, dear brother and sister, perseverance under trial, they are blessed. Those who love the Lord, they have promise. That blessing and that promise is the crown of life according to Revelation chapter 2, verse 8 to 10. As you observe in book of Revelation chapter 2, chapter 3, dear brother and sister, there is seven churches, but only two churches was admired by God. Admired by God. And especially brother and sister, Shemena church, according to Revelation chapter 2, verse 8 to 10, the word of God saying, the angel of the church in Shemena. Right. These are the words of him who is the first and the last. It means Jesus Christ is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and end. It means brother and sister, in your beginning, God is already there. In your end, God is also with you. If you finish your race with Jesus Christ who died and come to life again, I know your afflictions and your poverty. This is the picture of a church. Affliction and your poverty, yet you are rich. I know that slender of those who say they are Jew and are not, but are the synagogues of Satan. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. Trials, difficulties. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison. There will be brothers and sisters, some kind of persecution like this. To test you and you will suffer persecution for 10 days. Be faithful in your journey. In your journey. Do not run past and stop. But keep run for the marathoners. Because in your last point, Jesus Christ already prepared your reward and waiting for you. But he, he is not just a wait. He said, since you are begin with, with you, with you, you begin with Christ and you surely will end with Christ. But in your journey, God is always with us. He said, that's why be faithful even to the point of death and I will give you the crown of life according to Bible said. Dear brothers and sisters, how to receive the crown of life? You should have perseverance under trials. You should love the Lord God. That's why you have promise of the crown of light. Crown of light, it is a crown of Jesus Christ. It is the crown of life to give life to others. That's why crown of life. This, if you want to receive the crown of life, you should know how to give life to others. If you are not give life to others, there's no crown of life to you. To give life to others, we need to persevere. We need to understand. What do you mean persevere, brother and sisters? They are, they have blessed the heart. It means, brother and sister, even somebody say about you and somebody hate you, Somebody doesn't mind about you and somebody dearly persecute you. You don't mind about this, but you understand them. When you have this perseverance, when you have life to give others, dear brother and sister, there is crown of life. Let me encourage you, brother and sister. In the Bible, there are seven kind of crowns. You may see how many crowns you're going to receive. Maybe somebody said, I don't mind over crown. It's, a, it's okay for you. But for me, I cannot. I should receive such kind of crown. And as a pastor, I need to bless you to receive this kind of crown in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, our Christian faith should receive. Therefore, brothers and sisters, the crown of life is the basic crown. If you want to receive other six crowns, 
you must be this first crown, which is a crown of life. This crown of life for the pure heart. Pure heart. This crown of life is for the quality life of Christians. We should have quality life of Christians. In serving, in praise, in prayer, in ministry, evangelism, Bible study, fellowship, we should have quality Christian faith because of crown of life. As I said, if you are not received the crown of life, other crown is not easy for you because this is the basic crown for us to receive first. First. You should have pure heart. Who will receive this, this crown? Pastor. But not all pastors. Pastors should have pure heart. Pastors should have quality life. Quality life. Elders, deacons, and many members Dear brother and sister, this crown is for everyone. But this crown will not be given to you if you don't have pure heart. What I mean, brother and sister, you could not give life to others. We should not kill others. We should give life. Because our God, Jesus Christ, waiting with a crown of life, crown of life until you finish your race. When you finish, if you have pure heart, you, if you have quality Christian living and life, when you finish your race, dear brothers and sisters, God will give you first crown of life to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is for pastor, elders, missionary, me, missionary. I should have pure heart to receive this crown. And also, all members. Members, you have hope to receive this crown. Crown. This is not kind of crown after sports game. That will rust. I received so many crowns when I was elementary. Because of drawing, painting, because of a handball game, because of many games I have during elementary Middle school, high school, I receive it. As of now, I don't have even single crown in me. But when you receive the crown of life, this is a forever your life in kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the reason why this morning, I would like to encourage you to have the crown of life. Is the crown of life. This crown of life for the pure heart and those who have quality Christian life. Quality. Once again, let me repeat to you, brother and sister, if you could not receive the crown of life, other crown is not easy for you. Because this is a basic crown for everyone. Pastor, elder, deacon, all members in the church. In the church. Therefore, brother and sister, if you see according to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 until 26, for your quality life. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 26 and 27, the word of God, let us open, please. For your quality life. The word of God said, therefore, I do not run like a man running endlessly. Or without goal. If you don't know what is goal for our race, our faith in race, let me encourage you. Our Lord Jesus Christ is Alpha and Omega. He is with you in the past. He is with you today. And when you finish your race, He already waiting for you with a crown. Hallelujah. That's why today, with our leadership, we studying panorama. We try to see the kingdom of God in Genesis chapter 1, chapter 2. 
kingdom of God in this world. Genesis chapter 3 until Revelation chapter 20. And eternal kingdom in Revelation chapter 21 and 22. When we know the goal for eternal kingdoms. Dear brothers and sisters. I should pray to the Lord give me pure heart. Apostle Paul he said here. He said here. I do not fight like a man beating the air. Useless things I am not doing again. 27. The word of God say, But no, I beat my body. He said, I beat my body. It means he tried to have self-control. Self-control to give life to church. Self-control to protect other members. I can use my right in the church. As I'm senior pastor, I have my right. But dear brother and sister, I cannot use my right in the church. Do you know why? Because member is not spiritually all same. There are new members, growing members, mature members. Because of new members, I should have self-control even I have right. Even you attending church for a long time, long time is not privilege for you. If you are mature Christian, serve others. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why he beat his body? Because he can see the goal. Why I should have self-control? Because I can see the goal. Is it? I beat my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the price. Not losing salvation, disqualified for the price, for the rewards. rewards. Therefore, brothers and sisters, I can see the last moment of my journey, which is the final judgment before the Lord. When we stand before God, dear brother and sister, Bible said the Lord will bring the Lamb's book of life. It is not just a book of life for salvation. The word of God said, Lamb's book of life. Lamb's book of life, it means those who overcome by the name Jesus Christ, all your overcome history, quality of your life was written in the book, Ram, Lamb's book of life. You cannot say, Lord, this is already past experience. Maybe my God does know about this. You know, Lord, when I attending church in Rainbow Deal, always I attending, I have it yet absent, I have it yet late. Hmm? Even you, Try to cover yourself. Impossible to cover. Because already God opened the Lamb's book of life. All your quality life written there. Written there. That's why first crown of life for the pure heart. The first crown of life those who have quality life for the glory of Jesus Christ. According to the Bible said. And second crown. Second crown. Second is the crown of 12 start. The second crown of 12 start is the Christian leader for those who give hard labor and sacrifice. Praise the Lord those who have leadership in the name of Jesus Christ. You are qualified to receive this crown according to Revelation chapter 12 verse 1. Is a great and wondrous sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under the feet and the crown of 12 stars on her head. There is crown of 12 stars. This is, brothers and sisters, leadership. 
October this month, we don't have leadership. Because last two weeks ago in our meeting, I asked you to surrender all leadership because of the new leadership with new organizations of the rainbow. rainbow. Why I did it? Because I know the crown waiting for us. I need to bless you all little to receive the crown. According to Bible study. Number three, brother and sister, crown of gold. 24 elders. Old Testament, 12 tribes. New Testament, 12 disciples. Dear brother and sister, Old Testament is shadow. New Testament is the substance. And if you want to receive this one, dear brother and sister, Revelation chapter 4, verse 4 said, Surrounded the throne were 24 other throne and sit on on them were 24 elder they were dressed in white and had crown of gold on their heart revelation chapter 14 verse 14 i look and there before me was a white cloth white cloth dear brother and sister you know do you know what is white cloth it is not just salvation we should have two kinds of clothes if you want to receive this kind of crown of gold. Let me ask you, open our Bible according to Asa chapter 61, verse 10. It said, you, if you want to receive the crown of gold, you should receive two kinds of dress. And word of God said, I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoice in my God. For he has clothed me with garment of salvation. Ah, let me just clarify it. If you truly believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, say Amen. If you believe Trinity God bless us, say Amen. You are saved. You have garments of the salvation. And array me in a robe of righteousness. It is not for salvation. It is for brother and sister qualifications to receive a reward. Qualification to enter banquet of Jesus Christ. Wedding banquet of Jesus Christ. Not all of them have the robe of righteousness. You need to overcome. You must be remnant. You must be Choose by God. If God chooses you, surely God will call you. Why He called? Because He wants to use you. When He calls you, He training you, prepare you, and use for the glory of Jesus Christ. That is the crown of gold for those disciples. Disciple is different with the Christians. Christians. Disciple and Friend of God is different. As I said, there is six kind of six steps of the spiritual growth. First is infant, child, or there is youth. These people are living by simple natures. According to Colossians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21, those who live by simple nature will not inherit the kingdom of God. It means they cannot enter the wedding. And there is number five is sons and father. Sons and father, those who live by spirit, the spiritual men, according to Colossians chapter 5, verse 22, 23, 25, said they will inherit the kingdom of God, the word of God. The crown of the core, core for the disciples who finish their life for the glory of Christ. Number four, the crown of glory. Is it? The crown of glory. Dear brothers and sisters, this crown, this crown or crown for cheap shepherds like pastors, teachers, Bible, Bible study leaders also, the, our church disciple leaders, 
Discipleship leaders, listen carefully. If you know what is goal, goal, what is your purpose, your lead ministry today, brothers and sisters, promise for that, but to have that promise, you need to persevere. And you should love Jesus Christ, according to the Bible says. This promise and crown for those who persevere and those who love Jesus Christ. Those who love Christ. That's why there is the crown of glory according to 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 4. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. The word of God. But dear brothers and sisters, There is qualifications. There is condition for the pastor, teachers, Bible study leaders, discipleship leaders. There is condition according to Peter say. Let us open our Bible starting verse 1. First Peter chapter 5 verse 1 according to word of God say. Verse 1. The word of God say, To the elders among you, I appear as a fellow elders, a witness of Christ's sufferings, and one who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Verse 2. Be shepherd of God's flock. Be shepherd. They're the one who receive the crown of glory. Dear brother and sister, without this glory, you cannot enter New Jerusalem. Who will enter New Jerusalem? Those who have glory and honor with the splendor, he said. According to Revelation, say, it is not much exciting to you, but for me, this is much exciting in my faith, in my heart today. Because I know what is my goal. Goal. This crown is for the shepherd of the God's flock that is under your care, serving as overseer, not because you must. This is a condition for this reward and crown. Crown of glory. Not because you must. Ah, because I'm pastor here. Ah, because I'm deacon here. No, 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 no. Name a member, let me bless you. If you have willing heart, even you don't have any position, you're standing there. Hello, welcome. When you show yourself to God, God will choose you. God will use you for leadership in the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm? Because you must, but because you are willing, is it? This is condition for the crown of glory. Even you serve how many years without willing heart, dear brother and sister, nothing will count with God. This is why Peter said, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be not greedy for money, for ourselves. No, 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 no. It is not conditions. Is it here? But eager to serve. Verse 3. Verse 3. Not rolling, rolling it over those in trust to you, but being example to the flock. We should have a good example as pastors, as teachers, as Bible study leaders and discipleship leaders. According to the Bible said. Number five. The crown that will not rust. Those who bring the gospel to other countries 
We have mission Sunday. Even you are not missionary for foreign country, already you are involved in the missions. And we pray for mission. We have mission in Melbourne. We have mission in Indonesia. Our mission partner in US. Mission partner in Korea. Dear brother and sister, when you have mission for them, you know what is blessed, encourage me and bless me during last two weeks? Our member in Melbourne Church, they are few. When I was there, they asked me, Pastor, what shall we do? Oh, worship. No problem. You can gather now. God is with you. What shall we do? Offering. You offering to the Lord. And what shall offering for Mission Sunday? You are new church. I said you are new church, baby church, but your brothers and sisters, you know last week, pastor, no, in this time, our church also must be participate with the mission. When I received the news, good news from them, honestly, I cried to the Lord, Lord God, there is some people who love the mission there. If you love mission, you will receive the crown that will not rust. If you love the mission, brother and sister, God will add it more to your life. Why? Because God wants to use you. You have mission heart. Mission heart. You need to bless. There is the crown that will not rust. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 25. Everyone who competes in the game goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. This crown is for evangelists. This crown for missionary. Missionary. Our mission must be go to the foreign country. Do you remember last two weeks with our meeting after Sunday afternoon worship service? If Rainbow Mission Church in Bagro Latina Church here, if you said, Pastor, we don't want to have mission, I am sorry. That day is my day to resign your church. I don't need this kind of a church because Jesus Christ, He doesn't need. The purpose of the church is the great commandment, vertical relationship with God. Horizontal relationship with others. Love God, love others. In New Testament said, create commission for the Gentiles. Create commandment and create commission. Those who obey create commandment, create commission, they are Christian who love Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, amen. Let me bless you. During, during Vision Sunday, other day you are not offering, isn't it? I'm sorry. Anyway, this type of offering is considered mission offering. No, no. <laughs> even 100 pesos, even 500 pesos, mission offering, Lord, use this. And sometimes, praise the Lord, back to church, back to the church, you have mission offering for Indonesia. We record in our treasure notebook, and we get it and keep the mission and mission sent to our missionary like this. Our mission today possible to worship and establish because of mission in Korea, from Korea, from US. We have a spiritual obligation to them. That spiritual obligation we must be paid back to other nations. According to Apostle Paul said, Paul say because of the famine in Jerusalem church. He is the one who writing to all the churches. Hey, Philippian church, Corinthian church, Macedonian church. I will visit your church, prepare mission offering. And that mission offering we should offer to the Jerusalem church. Because all church in Asia, we have spiritual obligation by Jerusalem church. This crown, brothers. How many crowns can you receive until five? 
I hope our member will remember this crown. Because Bible mentioned about seven crown. That's why I specifically challenge you why you are in the church and why you serve church as leaders, why you have Bible study, why you become missionary and pastors. Number six. Number six. The crown of hope, joy, and glory. Those who sacrifice for the joy of the Lord and joy for other people. You may receive this crown. First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 19. The word of God said, For what is our hope, our joy, or the crown in which we will glory in the presence of our Lord Jesus when he comes. Is it not you, brother and sister, this crown? Even you have this advantage. We sacrifice and serve others for joy of the Lord and joy to others. When I serve Trinidad Church, I have been net, I have been net as anything. But as long as members have a joy, there's more than enough. More than enough. And also, even I have some disadvantage because of member, much better disadvantage for the joy of God and joy of our members. If you serve others for joy to God and joy to other people in the church, God prepared the crown of hope, joy, and glory according to Bible said. The last crown of righteousness Dear brother and sister, this last, let me encourage you. Encourage you. Who will receive this crown? Hmm? Those who finish marathon with the visions. visions. Not yet finish your race. Your journey is still ongoing. Your journey will be beautiful if you are with Jesus Christ. That's why the word of God said the crown of righteousness. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 8. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, will aware to me on the day. And not only to me, but also all who have long for his appearing. Dear brothers and sisters, when we studying panorama from John 1 1, Genesis chapter 1 1 1, until last judgment, last judgment is our graduation. That is the graduation day. During our graduation day, I saw it, brother and sister, I have experienced so many graduations in Korea and in Philippines, especially. Wow, the graduation in Philippines, they prepare so many medal. medal. I don't know that medal is true or to comfort. <laughs> but anyway, so many medals. When they receive the, the reward, wow, they are so happy. And especially I can see our parents so happy. Even it is to comfort or it is true or not, it's okay as long as we receive reward. The medal. The parents so happy. And after finish, I encourage them, see your, your son and daughters so great. And their face suddenly smiling face. Dear brothers and sisters, even we receive this kind of reward in the world, we really appreciate. We express our thanksgiving. But when we finish our race, I know your journey is not easy. There is, brother and sister, someone who have a journey in the storm, rain, problems, six at road. There is troubles, need to stop. Sometimes wants to give up. 
But dear brother and sister, always remember for this reward, the crown of righteousness is for those who finish marathons. During my years in the Philippines for 34 years, this is 34 years, is not easy. I live in the Philippines more than Korea. This is my foreign countries. I don't know your language, your cultures. I don't know what to do. But without God, I cannot sustain and overcome such kind of difficulties. I cry many times. I experience of hungry. And also, I walk from here to Baguio and sometimes from 3 to 2 kilometer 21 because of missions. But I have been yet discouraged during the times. But it is my experience for 34 years in the Philippines. And sometimes there is troubles uh, with the pastor. That's why I want to give up. Actually, because of these situations, situation, what we have, I submit, I want to give up this mission with you. Yes. Why? Why? Because this kind of quality cannot glorify God, I said. I know God. I cannot solve God with this kind of problems. I confess to God, Lord, I'm sorry. If you give up, Lord, no way I should give up. Yes. Our pastor, they gather together, they, they repent and they stand together and they are now standing together, unite together. That's why Honest speaking, dear brothers and sisters, our pastor, they gave me commitment until we finish our mission for the glory of Jesus Christ. Let me encourage you, our members, our members, let us have spiritual commitment, commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Not because of me, not because of you, not because of our church. You know, our purpose of life and church because our God within you with crown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe this crown, this day is brother and sister, let us once again fix your feet. According to Hebrew chapter 12, Samuel, anyone have feet to tires, let us fix together. Anyone have brother and sister, body problem, spiritual problem, mental problem, any problem, let us fix together and hold hands together and run for Jesus Christ. Amen. If you receive the word of God, say Amen. Yes, this day, let us run together for the crown because our God is still and our crown, the last crown is the crown of righteousness for the marathoners. Let us finish together this race for the glory of Christ. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, 